Another rock barrier in this part of the Adriatic Sea had driven fear into the hearts of all sailors. Calafat Reef is known as the most terrible ship cemetery. Uncharted for many centuries, this killer reef had victimized captains who thought they were on a sound course. Although our ship possesses all the necessary modern navigational equipment, our skipper feels that it's dangerous to approach the reef and cast our anchors too close. Several pairs of divers are going down toward the southern side of the reef to investigate the Scylla and Charybdis of the Bay of Zhukovica. The last great ship was grounded and sank on this place during World War II. Only 50 years later, waves and sea currents have transformed the 100 meter long cargo ship into indistinguishable bits and scraps spread along the sea bottom. If we can salvage only a piece or two from this huge metal ship, then there can be no true hope of ever finding any trace of wooden ships that had been down here for many centuries. Exploring the artificially altered configuration of this reef, we can see how by sinking boats, man can indeed create an artificial reef, an entire new oasis of life. Parts of the shipwreck that are spread over the entire reef have themselves become home and shelter for many marine creatures. This rare species of hermit crab has found shelter in symbiosis or mutual dependence with sea anemone which grow on its shell. The unconventional behavior of this lobster can be interpreted as its desire to drive the divers away from its territory. In the ship cemetery where many vessels and sailors met their doom, this lobster has made a home and will not be intimidated. Although quite harmless and with no chance of attacking an opponent a hundred times smaller than man, it is stubborn and steadfast. The lobster is a silent witness to the fact that the remains of sunken ships, these iron coffins that took their sailors down with them to meet their death, actually preserve the reef and transform it into a source of life and safety for its inhabitants.